Greetings and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to manage requests for quotes within Oro Commerce. In Oro Commerce, requests for quotes are used by sellers to help customers meet their purchasing needs throughout the sales process. Requests for quotes can be submitted by a user on the website or could come through a number of ways including email or phone requests. When customers submit requests for quotes, they are displayed in the Request for Quote section on the back office of Oro Commerce. Additionally, users can enable workflows for RFQ front and back office. Workflows are a sequence of steps which assist buyers and sellers to help automate and provide status for complicated or multi-step processes. Sellers can easily understand where the customer is in the RFQ process by viewing the internal status on the RFQ grid or by loading the view page where the workflow statuses will display in the upper left hand corner of the request for quote. Workflows can be enabled or disabled by navigating to the main system menu and using the drop down to select workflows. Hover over the ellipse on the far right of the workflow and use the available options to activate or deactivate the workflow. For more information on workflows, please see our documentation at orocommerce.com slash documentation. To manage requests for quotes, navigate to the Sales menu and select Request for Quotes. The Request for Quote grid displays listing requests and their internal statuses. Click on any RFQ to load the view page. From this screen, you can create a quote for the customer, create an order, or use the More Options drop-down to add notes or send emails. Clicking on the Create a Quote button loads the items in the Request for Quote into a form for easy editing and modifications if necessary. You can add additional products, add and modify the quantity and price of the items, edit or add shipping and billing information, calculate shipping options, payment terms, and more. Once you have a created quote and saved it, the quote back office status changes from open to draft. Once you send it to the customer, the status will change to sent to customer. Clicking the Edit button allows seller to adjust target prices and add additional products if necessary. Clicking on the Create an Order button loads the items from the request into an order form. This makes for easy editing and modifications. There you can add additional products and offers, edit or add billing and shipping information, calculate shipping options, discounts, and more. The More Actions drop-down allows you to add notes to the order, send email, or add events. An event could be used to schedule a call or a meeting. The next few steps will discuss communicating with the customer through requests for more information. These options are only available when the back office workflow is enabled. The Request for More Information button opens a text dialog for you to communicate with the customer. Type in any notes and click the Submit button. This will alert the customer by email and through the customer store account that you're requesting additional information. The back office status will change to More Information Requested and the front office status would change to Requires Attention. When the customer responds to the request for additional information, the seller is alerted that the customer has provided the requested information and can continue processing the request. The back office status would then change to open and the front office status would change to submitted. Additionally, you can decline the request for quote, delete it, or mark it as processed. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.